hardly expect me to sell the family home to subsidize your painting. If you want to be a painter, you'll have to start selling some of your paintings. Well, do something else, couldn't you? Your father left you practically nothing in the world. I gave you 10,000 pounds. Gave you, Dougie? You bastard! You also showed me how to chuck it away. What are you talking about? You told me how to invest it. You didn't put it all in the same stock. Oh, dear. Oh, Dougie. I lost thousands. I lost 3,000 in a week. 3,000. Have you got any idea? Have you got the faintest idea what that might mean to someone? Dougie, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make that up to you. Mm. One thou, all right? Check do. I have a pen, thank you, darling. You may be my younger brother, Dougie, but you really must learn to stand on your own two feet, you know? You really must, Dougie. Hmm? Quite frankly, Sir Hugo, you can take your check and work it slowly up Felicity's nose. Nice outfit. So, where to? It's just, honestly, it's really not far. I can get a bus. Don't you need books for an evening class? No. Well, what's the course? Italian. Hey, Vero. I thought you were going to say gardening. I haven't got a garden. No, but you like growing plants, don't you? Yeah. What do you mean? I can never remember the Latin name for these things, you know, pot plants and pot plants. Oh, come on. I expect you've had to hide them under the bed with all these bobbies snooping about. I'll tell you what's on my mind. I mean, obviously, there's nothing I like better than to take a sexy girl for a ride, but... Oh, give me a time. break. It's a question I'm always asking myself. Now, why is it that you ladies wear these tiny skirts, which by no stretch of the imagination, I mean no stretch, you could call prim, could you? Really, and yet, um, when a chap notices, you get all aggravated. It's a mystery to me. I think it's my business what clothes I wear. Of course it is, of course it is. Get to the point, Jeremy. Just struck me that you and I have these little secrets about each other. Your smoking habits and my friendship with poor Jackie. I won't say anything. Terrific. I'll tell you what, a girl like you shouldn't have to rely on buses. Why don't you come and see me and we'll fix you up with a very special deal on a little car. Hmm? I don't think so. Well, if you change your mind, any time. I'll tell you what, I'm a little late, so uh, I'm going to drop you off. Why don't you uh, get yourself a taxi the rest of the way? No, thanks. Suit yourself. Ci vediamo. interests but your own. I think the diplomat son might put a few pennies in your piggy bank. Did you sort him out? I think he'll be a happy man. 
Okay. Alberti, if I'm this morning. He's very impressed with you. I'm very impressed. Are you with a chance there? We'll see. In the meantime, you owe me. No luck. No good. Talk about difficult. I had to give it up because he was getting very suspicious. Binny. That bastard. She says it's a bee. But she'll try again. I mean, he'll see you again. I don't know whether he will or not. The thing is, Nicola, I can't wait for too long. You have no idea how nasty he can be. Oh, haven't I just? No. I don't want us to be... I mean, we could be sued for misrepresentation or... Don't worry, don't worry. I'll think of something. Jesus. I wish we'd just... Stop it. I'll deliver. I said I wouldn't, I will. He still looks terrible. When I start feeling sorry for him, just think about the half million dollars. Oh, I don't feel sorry for him. I hope it gets right down into his bones. Wow. You look terrific when you're angry. Mm. A wasp caught in Tabasco. That is what Marlowe used to say. You sound just like Marlowe. You know that? 